Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it a deterrent. You're the angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. That was our agreement, remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Thank you. <laughs> What's that noise? What'd he do? <laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance. Norad's nightmare is about to begin. What? Peace Walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear strike data. That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Coleman's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? In the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. This son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data sent to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out. Even by EFP. There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No. No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the president? Last I heard, he was in the middle of SALT II negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too. So after him comes the speaker. President. Vice president. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all. And she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of target. But you can't make peace without breaking a few eggs. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? 
you're about to unleash all-out nuclear war. Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have you contacted the president? Cover all is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory here, my peace, is proven right. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. You have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke. Thank <laughs> you. 